Throughout history, various human species have inhabited the Earth. However, only our species, Homo sapiens, has managed to reach the present day. Where did sapiens emerge? How did they spread across the world? What interactions occurred with other human species living during the same period? And most importantly, why did Homo sapiens succeed while others did not? Let's try to shed light on the dark pages of human history based on the extensive efforts and findings of scientists. The name Homo sapiens means knowing man. Until recent times, the oldest findings related to Homo sapiens were discovered in the Omo Kaibish region of Ethiopia, dating back 195,000 years. Therefore, it was generally accepted that modern humans appeared in East Africa approximately 200,000 years ago. However, in 2017, excavations in Jebel Irhoud, Morocco revealed evidence suggesting the existence of Homo sapiens 300,000 years ago. Evidence found in caves at different locations of this site supports the idea that Homo sapiens did not evolve from a single point but emerged simultaneously at several locations. So, when did Homo sapiens start to leave Africa? In 2018, Dental and jawbone remains found at Mount Carmel in Israel indicated that Homo sapiens individuals left Africa between 175,000 and 200,000 years ago. However, at that time, Homo sapiens had reached only the Arabian Peninsula and the eastern Mediterranean coasts and had not ventured further. Of course, the Arabian Peninsula had a temperate climate back then, unlike the arid conditions it has now. According to studies conducted in 2020, the migration of Homo sapiens out of Africa occurred in two stages. The first stage began approximately 80,000 years ago, with the first members of Homo sapiens crossing from the Arabian Peninsula to India. From there, they reached Southeast Asia and around 45,000 years ago, arrived in Australia. In the second stage, around 45,000 years ago, they reached Europe, Central Asia, and Siberia. From there, during the period corresponding to the end of the last Ice Age, approximately 14,000 years ago, they reached North America using the ice bridge connecting Alaska to Asia. From there, they reached South America 11,000 years ago. During the same period as Homo sapiens, several other human species coexisted on Earth. Homo sapiens encountered Neanderthals when reaching the Middle East and Europe and Denisovans when reaching Central Asia. What happened to these species? Two significant theories exist regarding this. The first is the interbreeding theory, and the second is the replacement theory. According to the interbreeding theory, Homo sapiens encountered and interbred with other human species, leading to the emergence of modern humans. The replacement theory, on the other hand, suggests that there were anatomical differences between sapiens and other human species, making sexual attraction between them impossible. Therefore, these two species lived completely separately, and Neanderthals somehow disappeared from the Earth. Scientific debates on this topic persisted for many years, but in 2010, scientists demonstrated success in sequencing the Neanderthal genome, mapping their genetic code. According to a study conducted in 2020, it was revealed that 1% of the DNA of Asians and Europeans is Neanderthal. It was initially believed that people living in Africa did not encounter Neanderthals, making them pure Homo sapiens. However, according to this recent study, it was found that 0.3% of the DNA of those living in Africa contains Neanderthal DNA. You might wonder how this is possible since Neanderthals did not go to Africa. It is thought to have happened in this way. Homo sapiens, who first left Africa around 200,000 years ago, mated with Neanderthals in the eastern Mediterranean and later migrated back to Africa. Through this process, Neanderthal genes were introduced to Africa. A few months after the successful sequencing of the Neanderthal genome, the Denisovan human DNA map was created. This map showed that approximately 6% of the DNA of Aboriginal Australians in Australia is Denisovan DNA. So, what does all this mean? Is it interbreeding, or is it the replacement theory? According to scientific studies, the interbreeding theory is not entirely wrong. There is a small amount of Neanderthal and Denisovan genes in the genome of present-day modern humans, contributing to the understanding of how Neanderthals and Denisovans disappeared from the Earth. However, 
This theory cannot be considered entirely accurate because, according to DNA information, the interbreeding was quite limited. The extinction of Neanderthals and Denisovans occurred due to other reasons. Scientists who have worked on this topic for many years applied advanced dating methods to Neanderthal bones. According to this, Neanderthals were alive until 42,000 to 37,000 years ago, significantly paralleling the spread of Homo sapiens in Europe during these dates. Tools found in the Lafada Picaro cave on the Atlantic coast of Portugal indicate that Homo sapiens reached this region 41,000 years ago. Interestingly, this cave was used by both Neanderthals and Homo sapiens. Human settlement in this cave dates back to 50,000 years ago. According to findings in the nearby Oliveira cave, Neanderthals persisted until 37,000 years ago. These pieces of evidence indicate that Neanderthals and Homo sapiens coexisted in the same region for several thousand years. After this period, Neanderthals rapidly disappeared. This mass extinction did not happen all at once. It occurred at different times in different regions over the course of the process. The rapid mass extinctions of Neanderthals have been considered the result of sudden glacial climate changes or interbreeding with Homo sapiens. However, these explanations were insufficient to account for such a rapid extinction. Scientists conducted simulations with advanced supercomputers. These simulations revealed that the dominance of Homo sapiens competition supported the extinction of Neanderthals. Sapiens had better hunting techniques, greater resistance to diseases, and, most importantly, a higher fertility rate than Neanderthals. In the study of nature, the most populous survives in a battle between species. Homo sapiens survived as the populace in the war among Neanderthals. This situation was not unique to Neanderthals. Wherever Homo sapiens went, the native population disappeared. However, let's take a closer look at the life of sapiens. When Homo sapiens left Africa and reached Europe and Asia, they encountered a colder climate. Thanks to fire, Homo sapiens was able to adapt to these cold climates. Additionally, they started making clothes from animal hides. Over time, Homo sapiens transitioned from stone tools to producing spears, arrows, and new weapons. This was significant because they no longer had to approach dangerous and large mammals for hunting. Of course, this was quite detrimental from the perspective of animals. These hunting methods led to the extinction of some large mammal species. Homo sapiens generally sustained their lives through hunting, gathering, and fishing. Therefore, their dietary habits varied according to natural ecosystems, but the fertility rate of sapiens was high, leading to population growth. According to mathematical modeling, Homo sapiens individuals lived in groups of approximately 25 people. To sustain the lives of these groups, there was a need for water and food, and each group had a designated piece of land for this purpose. A crucial prerequisite for these shared resources was language proficiency. Perhaps one of the most important factors that contributed to the success of Homo sapiens against other human species was language. Debates continue about how language developed, but according to studies, Homo sapiens began using language effectively at least 50,000 years ago. Here, let's briefly discuss three theories about how language originated. Our first theory is the echo theory. According to this, people created primitive languages by imitating the sounds around them. The presence of words in almost all languages today that correspond to natural sounds serves as the primary support for the echo theory. The second theory is the exclamation theory. According to this theory, early humans created sounds expressing their pains, joys, and fears, leading to the formation of language. The last theory, the joint action theory, suggests that humans developed language while working together. Regardless of how it developed, language played a crucial role in conveying information and thoughts for humans and became one of the essential tools for the success of Homo sapiens. Before the agricultural revolution, Homo sapiens had limited control over their natural environments. Therefore, they continued their lives by claiming regions in groups and maintaining communication with other groups. They typically established temporary settlements near water sources. There was a division of labor among them, determined by gender roles. Men engaged in hunting, while women were involved in gathering, cooking, and childcare. However, Homo sapiens were also interested in art. Cave paintings found in France, 
located between cooling intervals, shed light on the level Homo sapiens reached in art. Additionally, Homo sapiens went beyond cave paintings and began creating portable artworks. The lion-headed human figure made from a mammoth tusk found in Stadel Cave in Germany, dated 41,000 years ago, is the oldest known animal-shaped human figurine. This sculpture contributed to the imaginative and abstract thinking ability of Homo sapiens and, therefore, advanced them. These artworks contributed to the sharing of knowledge, expression of emotions, and the transfer of cultural information to subsequent generations. In conclusion, Homo sapiens established superiority among human species with their superior intelligence and social abilities, effective use of language, advanced skills and toolmaking, efficient use of fire, and high fertility rate. While others vanished from the Earth stage, Homo sapiens strengthened and continued on their path. In this second video of the series on human history, we provided some information about the emergence of Homo sapiens and the extinction of other human species. Thank you very much for watching the video until the end. If you like and subscribe to the video, you will make me very happy. Thank you again.